He's the guy, like on whatever team he's on. He's got all the intangibles. He's what we call a supermarket. Got everything you need. He checks all the boxes that you want in a prospect. And he's got a lot of natural ability to play this game. Hitting, hit for power, run. You know, pole to pole, you know, he uses all fields. He can play defense, he can play all three outfield positions well. What he did last year was something you don't see very often in professional baseball. This year he'll be 19 the whole season, which is scary. He can change the game at any moment. The yeah, guy's got a special talent. That's what makes Churio number one. ¿Quién va a tirar IP? Correa. Tú estás tirando, ¿no? Está bien, eso está increíble. Oye, ve. Línea. What makes Jackson an exciting prospect is his ability to go out there and take the game to the next level. He's somebody that impacts the game, uh, understands the game, has a very mature approach at a very young age. And that, I think that's what exciting because he's giving himself an opportunity to get to his tools and his strength way more often than other players would. You want to dream on a player. And Churio, when you, when you watch him play, he checks every box in terms of the tools, the five tools. Well, he's got good hands. He's got some power. He's got a lot of speed. His hitting ability and his speed combo has a two-strike approach for a young hitter that's very impressive. And then you watch him defensively, he has the ability to just make game-changing plays with his breaks and reads and his ability to throw. And a lot of the stuff that he's able to do out there is up on Sports Center, I think, in the long run. <laughs> when I say that he can do anything on the field, you will ask what a specific tool that, you know, is better than other. If I tell you that all his tools are above, that's what makes him special. And then I think he also has this like intangible thing that anybody who watches him play, even for a little bit, sees. And it's the swagger. Whatever field he's playing, like he's, he looks to be the leader. And I think there's this quiet confidence with how he plays that allows him at a young age to kind of play behind his ears. Like this year, he'll be 19 the whole season, which is scary how he, how he performs. Somebody who's making those prospect lists is watching a lot of these different players can see a guy like Churio with all the tools and the smile and the swagger and all those other special intangibles and dream on him being the, the best prospect in the game right now. And uh, we just, as an organization, is just looking forward to seeing on an everyday basis how he going to amuse me, just impress me today, do something else. Here comes the 2-0. Swing and a drive to left. That ball's going to line itself way out of here. Chorio with his second home run as a Rattler, and it's 2 0 Wisconsin. The path Jackson was on last year, just basically starting in extended spring training and ending up in, in AA, was crazy. I know it's, it's just a tremendous compliment to the player because at each level, there's, a, there's that comfort zone when you've mastered a level, and he dominated down at extended we got him to Carolina he dominated there there's there's lots of opportunities where he can relax and listen to the hype and all that and he just he just kept wanting to get better honestly I think any time that you see a player having the type of year he had I, I, I would be lying if I tell you I was not surprised because you know this is a kid that the year before was playing in the DSL he was still trying to figure out you know what it was like to be a professional baseball player and for him being able to take that next step and becoming the type of player that he became, you know, I think it was a really impressive and really cool year for him. I think in general, it's unusual for a player to go from like say the Dominican complex into full season ball in the US and then rise multiple levels in a year. I do think this organization probably as a philosophy tends to push players and let the player tell you when it's time. What we did, I think from an organization is that we kept putting him in a place that challenged him and he not only kept accepting the challenge, but he also overcame those challenges and became a better player. So what he did last year was something really cool that you don't see very often in the game of professional baseball. The top prospect in baseball hits his third homer of the series, and it's five to nothing. Okay. 
Pero es que aquí, aquí es loco, mano. Si un día corre la bola pila, otro día se muere. No me gusta cuando está corriendo solamente para el ¿no? Por eso, por el que creo que fue el último juego, puro parlé. Puro parlé. ¿A ti te gusta más la pega esa en el spray? Sí. ¿A vos no? ¿No te gusta esto? Es que pasa que esa, supuestamente pone los bates pone los bates más pesados, supuestamente. No me gusta mucho, ¿no? Cuando, cuando subo la, las manos, se me resbala. Lo mío es por turno. Primer turno voy con uno, si no le pego, cambio. ¿Piensa que es tú el número uno en pelota? En un prospecto. Sí, claro, ¿por qué no? Si le la madre, sí. Me emocioné. Ah, esta tesita buena, sí. Sí, sí. Ya, Pues la verdad que se siente increíble ser el, el uno, ya que este, ayuda mucho como a, a mi familia, a mi hermano, siempre, o sea, se, siempre fue como un sueño para nosotros estar aquí y hoy que, o sea, cuando me nombraron número uno, sé que él se siente muy orgulloso de toda mi familia. Que me siento súper agradecido por, por estar en un equipo tan, tan bien, que me trata tan bien, me da esa confianza y la verdad que estoy muy agradecido con todo. This is a player who was not on anybody's top 100 going into 2022, and then he emerges, you know, fully on the radar, and then goes into 23 as number one. Um, that's a pretty remarkable rise. So Jackson Churio has not had a lot of time to process what that means for himself. Well, being named a top player, not just in your organization, but in all the baseball, I think comes with a lot of expectations which are flattering, but also I think there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. And it puts a lot of attention, media attention, everywhere you go, once you're autographed, you cannot even sit down. People calling you that want to be your agent, want to give you this, or want to give you that, and all that kind of stuff. And where before, yes, it probably had some calls, but now you are the storm. It's a lot for a, essentially a kid, a young man, to handle like in terms of just contemplating that he's the top prospect in baseball. When you're thinking about advancing him level to level, I mean, that only ramps up the hype. And I think they felt comfortable pushing him from level to level because they knew that he could handle not only the baseball happening, but also sort of the, the added volume of, of the hype around him. No, 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 no. ¿Tú, tú quieres que yo viniera para acá? No, no. Pero tranquilo, eh. Saluda a la cámara y ya. Eso es lo que tú quieres. En algún momento sí lo llegué a sentir. Yo creo que antes cuando fueron, cuando estaba empezando, como que a sonar más, sí pues, estaba un poquito más pendiente. Pero ahorita no, ahorita estoy más, más tranquilo, ya que si estoy en la lista, me parece increíble, la verdad. Y no le doy tanta mente a eso. The traits that helped him navigate the success right now, I would say his personality. He does a good job of showing up to have fun. He loves the game of baseball. I'm saying it shows by the way he walks in the complex and the way he comes in here to do his work. It's one of those things that when you're the best player, you're already going to be looked at by everybody. And then from there, it's just how you carry yourself. And it goes back to his smile, his personality to get along with his teammates. Like he enjoys being around people. Um, I think the genuineness of who he is, you know, he cares about people and that, that affects his attitude and affects the others that are around him. Tengo por aquí. ¿De qué me quiere robar cámara? ¿De qué me quiere robar cámara? Vamos a hacerlo aquí al lado tuyo. Salud de la pelada. I think it shows you the character that he has. No, not only the expectations, but uh, being able to do it in every single day, at every level, like he did. Uh, it becomes very special, and that's why I think publications have been so high. It's because they're seeing somebody who has taken on the challenge, but his performance on the field has not changed. I think he's handling well, and, and he's concentrating baseball, and we're going to keep emphasizing that what makes him number one is the way he played the game. So you cannot tell your eyes what takes you there. Everything else is going to be taken care of, but just concentrate on playing baseball. What makes you 
سنافيل سنافيل Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Jackson. <laughs> Pero no dieron nada, madre, vale. Muchacho. Up and down, a lot of fastballs there. A lot of fastballs, many here. Chenya? Chucky, Chenya? Todo bien. Aquí estamos, en la guerra, ¿y tú qué? Tranquilo, igual. Wow, le puse, ¿sí? Es lo que no tengo que pasar, ¿eh? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I think whenever you talk about Jackson Shirio, his age always comes up. One of my favorite stats from 2022 is that he was the youngest player in low A, the youngest player in high A, the youngest player in double A, and the youngest player on our MLB Pipeline top 100 list. So you can't help but sort of talk about where he's come in the last year and not mention how young he is. He might be the first 19-year-old that I'm coached at the No Way level. I don't, I don't recall seeing very many guys at his age that just come in here with these kind of accolades and expectations. I honestly say, I think the last guy I really seen come through was Ronald Cunha. So that's, that's saying something. Mira, yo hasta la semana pasada tenía solamente 5 y 3 eran honrones. Yo la semana pasada tenía 5 y 3 eran eran honrones. ¿Cómo yo robo? ¿Y cuántos cuánto, cuánto honrones te vas a aportar? ¿Tres? ¿Los tres que hay aquí? Aquí, en un juego fueron tres, en otro fueron dos y así iba, dos, tres, dos. Yo creo que la primera semana cuando llegué sí sentí que era como que el más joven. Estaba jugando ya con personas mayores de edad y... y la verdad que me sentí increíble. Pues yo creo que este, el apoyo que me dan todas las personas, o sea que me ayuda mucho a estar rodeado de personas tan buenas y, y que el equipo también me da esa confianza de ser como que mejor cada día y me pueden ayudar en, en todo. Ya, los enfrentes. No es Homer. No, no, ya. No, no, no. Es close. Tú dices, me di bonito. En cámara lenta sentí que la agarré. The jump from high A to double A is actually the biggest jump in baseball. What makes that jump to double A a challenge from the lower levels is just like any other position players or pitchers their tools are being more refined, where, where they're able to execute more consistently. I would say that's the jump and that's the issue that a lot of guys have is the game planning and adjusting to what other people are able to do to them because they're able to exploit your weaknesses a lot more consistently. Ay. It's not the worst thing if a player like Jackson Churio struggles for a while in the minor leagues. A baseball career is not a straight line for almost every single player. It is, it is a roller coaster often. And sometimes what you figure out on the downside is just as important as what you figure out on the upside. And, and I don't, again, I, I don't think that's a bad thing Um, if and when that happens for any player, depending on whether you're, you're hyped or not. Pues la verdad que a medida que uno va subiendo de nivel es más difícil a la, a la hora de batear y a jugar también. Este, en Carolina fue un poco más fácil, por así decirlo, pero igual el mismo juego, ¿sí? Yo cuando llegué aquí ya el año pasado fue un poquito más fuerte, porque este año venimos con una nueva actitud y dándolo todo. Ahorita estoy más como que enfocado en, en la decisión de swing, Selección más que todo a pechos buenos en la zona para hacer un mayor contacto así fuerte. 3-1 ball game, bottom of the eighth inning. 
The bases are loaded for the top prospect in baseball. First pitch, misses high. Siegel almost airmails it to the backstop. The count goes to 1-0. and up. Siegel delivers. Churio takes low. Count goes to two balls and no strikes. The pitch up. Slider called a strike on the outside corner. Goes to 2-1. and one. Churio fouls it off. 2-2 delivery to Churio. Slider misses low. Spreads his legs out. Makes his arm wide. The 3-2 pitch. Takes up high ball four. It's the 12th bases loaded walk of the year for the Shepherds. And it's a big one. Makes it 3-2. It His time at Dover has been great for him. I mean, it's, it's definitely a growing experience for him. You know, he's going to continue to get more experience. He's going to continue to get more comfortable. You know, he's definitely hit some challenges, but there's, there are challenges that he hadn't conquered either. So the ups and downs have been there, but that's only going to make him stronger and better in the long run. I've learned that there's always another turn and that you have to play hard to wait for positive results. Siempre he tratado como que si falla un turno, siempre piensen que va a, haber, va a venir un turno mejor que ese y, y voy a hacer el, el trabajo. Pues. ¡Triple! ¡Triple! ¿Qué está sonando? ¿Está lloviendo? Sí, sí, está lloviendo, está lloviendo. ¿Qué está sonando? He said it's raining. ¿Qué fue? He asked me, hey, it's raining or not? ¿Dónde? No, 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 pero está escuchando, está escuchando. Sí, ¿dónde? Ok, ahora no, ahora entonces. Hey, ¿cómo se dice cloud? Nubes. ¿Dónde nubes? ¿Dónde nubes? Sí. Si ya, ya va, ya va, ya va. No, ok, ya, 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 ya. Look, over there. No, pero ya, ya te voy a decir algo. Yo he estado en lugares que hay sol y está lloviendo, para que sepáis. I think the international process is very unique. Uh, you have the ability to sign a professional contract when you become 16, when you're 16 years old. Uh, and then once you sign, you become a professional baseball player. There is a lot of adjust, adjustment that you have to do. Uh, the language is an obstacle. The language barrier, I think, is a huge challenge because you think of doing anything, communication, effective communication is huge. The culture is an obstacle. We're in the South right now. It's, it's totally different than it is in Arizona. It's totally different uh, like it would be in the Midwest, in, in Milwaukee. So there is adjustment that we need to make a, on an everyday basis, but that's life too. For them, trying to come to a new country, understanding a different culture, and them having to figure out how to live somewhere new, they're away from their families. You know, there's so many obstacles that they go through just to come over here before you even get to baseball. And then you have baseball and the, the struggles and the failures that are, are mixing the game. Like, it's just difficult. So then you see them come over here and the success they have, you know, it's actually pretty pretty cool. You know, I think we do a great job of trying to meet halfway to try to help in those regards. Yo creo que en los momentos que no, a veces que por ejemplo me siento solo por así decirlo, pero siempre como que a veces uno, uno extraña a su familia y, y todo eso. Ya que este deporte te hace madurar rápido, ¿no? Ya que es un deporte para hombres y y sí es un poquito rudo, la verdad. I think it's extremely hard coming into a country when you're not only don't know the language, but you don't you know you don't understand the culture. Uh, it, it takes a lot from the player and it, and and the people that surround the player to help the player assimilate so they can adapt, you know, much quicker than anticipated. Sí, pero ya la verdad me, me, me he acostumbrado un poco, sí, pero igualito sí pega estar lejos de la familia, lejos de casa, sí. Yo creo que más que todo el idioma. Hay veces que prefiero como que a veces no salir, pero eso como que no, no me puede impedir tanto, ¿sabes? Y pero a la final siempre salgo porque 
No, nunca estoy solo, siempre estoy con, con mis amigos y me acompaña. Gracias a Dios aquí hay muchas personas que hablan español, me ayudan muchísimo. Ya cuando voy a salir o algo, siempre hay por lo menos una persona latina con la que yo pueda hablar. Guara machete, que no lo jodió, que no, que no. ¿Y cómo le aprendí eso? Que no le digo, hey, no diga eso, no diga eso. Sí. No, my fault. Ah, no, 12. Está bien, está bien, hizo qué? Machete, la traga, la pone ella porque tú te lo, te lo traes. Uh, at 19, a lot of guys are thinking to go to college. He's playing double A with guys that are 25 to 30 years old. So being able to perform at the level that he's, he is, and I think only this guy is the limit. Uh, and I'm looking to a guy that can cha change our franchise. As an organization, obviously, we, we have really good expectations for him, very high expectations as the rest of the industry. Uh, but at the same time, we understand that, hey, this is just a 19-year-old kid uh, who, who is close to getting to the big leagues. You don't want to put too much on a, a kid's shoulders and say he's going to be Juan Soto, but it's the Juan Soto story. If Jackson continues on this path that he's on, a player has, who can get to the majors at a, at a really young age, and, and he has the skills to continue on that same path. I think for fans, they don't know what they're saying right now. They don't know what they're saying. I think uh, the best for him is yet to come because this is his uh, season just starting. I think they're gonna, it's gonna be, make a lot of history as, as he goes and uh, they're gonna miss him where he's gone. The smile and his, you know, just the way he is when he comes in the ballpark. Like he, he's a real fun guy. You know, I enjoy every second I have to just uh, have an impact on him. Lo que más me gusta es como que la confianza que tiene el equipo ahorita en mí, ese apoyo que, que me dan, y la verdad que me siento increíble con ellos. Este, la verdad que este equipo me ha brindado muchas oportunidades y yo, yo la he sabido aprovechar al, al máximo, la verdad. Me hacen que yo tenga, me generan confianza a la hora de, de jugar y, y de hacer cualquier tipo de cosa que sea con el equipo. Me gusta mucho eso. Churio swings and drives this one to center. Mason Jr. back track. No, ball game. Jackson Churio, a two home run game, and the Shockers win it, seven to six. This kid really is something special. It's something new every night.